In this video, we have to work out the equation of this graph. So this is an exponential graph, which is a graph that we've been looking at in the last few videos. And so the two letters that we need to find in this equation will be A and Q, where we said that Q is the easiest one to find, as you can usually just read that off the graph over there. So we can see that this graph has moved one unit down, and so we can go fill that value in. So we'll say AX minus 1. So the only letter that we now need to find is A. And so when you only have one letter to find, you should substitute. And so there we have another point on the graph, so we can substitute that. So the y value of that point is minus 3, and the x value of that point is 1. And so minus 3 is equal to a to the power of 1 is just a minus 1. You then take the minus 1 over to the other side, where it will become positive. And so a is going to be equal to negative 2. And so the final equation of this line is y, or this equation, sorry, or graph, is y equals to negative 2x minus 1. So here we have another exponential graph, but in this question they've given it to us in a different form. And remember we saw in one of the previous videos that exponential graphs take on two different forms, namely the a, b, x, or the a, times by b to the power of x plus q, and then there's also the other normal one, which is just a to the power of x plus q. It won't, you won't be able to tell which one it is by just looking at it, and that's why the person who sets the test will have to tell you which one it is, so don't worry about that. So let's get started with this one. So q is always the easiest one to find, because there it is, it's just, this tells us that this graph has moved one unit up, and so we'll go for in plus 1 over there. So now we still have two letters. We still have A and we still have B. So we've got this point over here, which we haven't used, and we've got this point over here, which we haven't used. Now, here's a little trick. The point you want to choose when they give you a question like this is the one where x is 0. And let me show you why. So we're going to plug 4 and 0 into this equation. So y is going to have a value of 4. A is just going to stay A. B will be B. And x is now going to have a value of 0 plus 1. Now the reason we chose that is, have a look what happens here. This part here, b to the power of 0, well we said that anything to the power of 0 is 1. And so 4 is going to be equal to a times by 1 plus 1. Now a times by 1 is just a, so that's plus 1. And then you just take the 1 over to the other side, which becomes 4 minus 1, which is 3. And so a is 3. So I'm going to move it over to here. I'm going to fill in the a value as 3. Now we only have one letter to find, and so now we can substitute the other point, which is 1 and 7. But if we had substituted the 1 and 7 over here, you would have found out that you wouldn't have been able to carry on any further because A and B wouldn't, the, or the B wouldn't have disappeared like what we saw over there. So that's a little trick. So now we're going to substitute the point 7 in Y, and the B, or the, sorry, the X value is 1 because I'm substituting the point 1 and 7. And so I'm going to take that 1 over to the left-hand side, where it becomes 7 minus 1, which is just 6. b to the power of 1 is just b. And then to get b alone, you're just going to say 6 divided by 3, and that means b is equal to 2. So the final equation is going to be y equals to 3 times by 2 to the power of x plus 1. And remember, we said that this 3 and this 2 does not become 6. We know that 3 times 2 is 6, but this isn't 3 times 2. This is 3 times by 2 to the power of x, and so that changes everything. So you leave it just like that as your final answer. 